The purpose of the X-axis weight cover is to protect the ball screw and guideways from chips, coolant, and any other debris inside the machine enclosure. In this video, we're gonna look at replacing the X-axis weight covers on your mill and do some troubleshooting along the way. If the bolts that hold the weight cover rails to the castings are loose, the weight covers make popping noise when they are moving. This will eventually damage the plastic tabs that slide on the rails. This in turn will cause the section of the weight covers to separate and leak. So as soon as the weight covers start making that popping noise, pull the weight covers back and inspect the rails for loose fasteners. Tighten the fasteners and apply a thin coat of red eye grease to the guide rails to prevent that issue in the future. In a normal machine operation, weight covers are lubricated by the coolant. It is critical to maintain the correct coolant concentration. So use a refractometer to check the coolant concentration. Now, if you have to cut parts without flood coolant, make sure that you lubricate all the weight covers with a lightweight oil. Fully extend the weight covers and spray an even coat of lightweight oil on the weight covers. If you continue to run the machine without lubricant, the rubber seals will break down prematurely. Now, let's review how to replace the entire weight cover, and also, we look at replacing just the wiper if they're the only thing that's damaged. If the weight cover wipers are damaged, luckily, these can be changed out on their own. We'll review the old style and the new style X-axis weight covers, starting with the new style weight covers first. Jog the x-axis all the way to the end of travel. E-stop the machine, remove the x-axis weight cover, turn it over, and remove each section. Wipe away any excess grease. Locate and remove the small Phillips screw. With a flathead screwdriver, slide the retaining strip towards the opposite end and remove it from the standoffs. Remove the damaged wiper. Cut the new wiper to the exact length and verify the holes are aligned. With the new wiper cut, clean up the weight cover and apply a light coat of red eye grease to the wiper and install the wiper correctly back on the weight cover. Install the retainer and make sure the retainer capture all the standoffs. With one hand, apply a little pressure to the retainer and use a flathead screwdriver to slide the retainer into the locking position on the standoff. Once all the wipers are installed, put the sections back together. Now for the old style way covers, the wiper replacement process is slightly different. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the way cover wiper and clean the channel out. With the sections apart, now is a good time to take care of any dent in the way covers. Now, cut the replacement wiper to the same length as the original one you just removed. Apply a light coat of red eye grease to each replacement wiper and then install them using a mallet to tap the wiper firmly into the slot. Finally, install each section back together. At this point, the steps are the same. Whether you're reinstalling your existing X-axis weight covers or you're installing some new ones. Remove any chips and debris from the linear guides. Remove the used gasket and sealant from the table mounting surface and clean it. Apply a thin coat of red eye grease to the weight cover guide bar and install the weight cover over the guide bars. Attach the weight cover end panel to the weight cover bracket with the fasteners. Fully extend the weight cover one leaf at a time to make sure the sections don't separate. With the largest leaf of the weight cover away from the table, Put a bead of RTV silicone followed by the new gasket on the face of the weight cover. Attach the weight cover to the table, install the fasteners, and wipe away any excess silicone from the table. Release the e-stop and press reset a couple times to clear the alarms. Apply a light coat of oil to all sections of the weight cover and jog the x-axis slowly to make sure the weight cover does not bind. Follow the same process for the other side. In August 2013, the VF1 through VF5 machines changed to a new revision of X-axis weight covers. The new weight covers have a slightly different mounting configuration. They attach directly to the guide bars. 
This provides a stronger support for the weight covers. Some slight modification may be needed for machines that was built when this was first introduced. For this, the following tools are required. A weight cover kit, a number 21 drill bit, 1032 tap, a tube of black RTV silicone, a red eye grease cartridge, and a scraper. Let's get into it. Jog the x-axis all the way to the opposite end of travel. Put the machine in e-stop, remove the old x-axis weight cover and L-bracket. Locate the two holes on the weight cover mounting bar. If the holes are not drilled all the way through, use a number 21 drill bit and break it through. Then use a 1032 tap to tap the holes all the way. Now with the holes drilled and tapped in the guide bars, we'll remove the guide bars from the machine and install them in the weight cover and then install the weight cover and guide bars on the machine as an assembly. Now check the transition between the weight cover guide bar and the casting for smoothness. If the surface is not smooth, the tabs on the bottom of the weight covers will get caught and damage the weight covers. Once that's completed, reinstall the weight covers, jog the axis around a couple times to make sure it's not binding. This process is now completed. For more information or to order parts we've used in this service video, visit hawcnc.com and thanks for watching.